He's just your average Canadian. Confused, frustrated, and funny. Here comes that Canadian guy, Glenn Foster. Thank you. Very, uh, very excited to be here as part of this year-end special. Uh, I wish it wasn't this year. Huh? Talk about a tough year to be a comedian, oh my God, with the terrorism and the earthquakes and the hurricanes and thousands dead. Well, that kind of comedy just writes itself, doesn't it? <laughs> One disaster after another. We have an election coming now. and I hate Canadian elections. But first of all, they come out of nowhere. It's like, election, what, now what? I only got my pants on with, vote, what? Who, who put a sign on my lawn? How does this happen? It doesn't matter who gets in, because it's just spend, 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 you know. Even when they do good things, they just piss money away. It's infuriating, you know. The tsunami relief, perfect example, you know, all the governments falling all over each other. Well, Great Britain pledges this much, and the United States pledges this much, and Canada will. The Canadian government is proud to say that we will match any funds that Canadians give. Well, that feels kind of good, doesn't it? There's my money, and there's my money! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I give him half now, just to get the right amount. You know, there have been so many disasters this year. Charities are talking about donor fatigue. People are tired of giving. And I can understand that. I mean, in Canada, you know, we have a big heart, but we give and we give and give, but Canadians can only buy so many concert tickets. So. <laughs> hey, the Stones saved Toronto, don't forget. So. How sad is that, honestly? I mean, it's great that we had the SARS concert and everything else. It's just that it's so typically Canadian. So, oh, the economy's in trouble. Well, we're just the government. Have you thought of hiring a band? <laughs> honestly, is there anything more useless in a crisis than a politician? Huh? <laughs> Maybe an actor, but... <laughs> You know who I love? The mayor of New Orleans. Wasn't he amazing? Because he was mad. Huh? It was like day three, there were no rescue teams there, and he was freaking out. He was, I am pissed! It, they weren't even censoring it, you know? He's on the radio, I am pissed! Excuse my French, but I am pissed! Because, you know, inside he's thinking, I am pissed! Because right now, I am the mayor of squat! I'm in charge of nothing! I might as well be lining up with the rest of those people. I could stand in the middle ocean and go, I'm the mayor. <laughs> that Canadian guy, thank you. Coming up after the break, Sister Bessie shows us why our four party leaders are losers.